hey, we've started a new project to introduce you to. We're going to call this the man cave because that's basically what this is down in this basement that we're finishing. We've got it all framed up, so I'll give you an idea of what we're doing. But this room right here is is going to be have a bar in it. It's going to have an island right here, pretty good-sized island right here with bar stools across it. Then it'll have cabinets all the way across here, a big fridge with ice maker in it right over there. And so this is kind of, there'll be a place to put a TV on the wall over there and a couch over here. So it's going to work out really nice. It's going to be a real nice, comfortable space for him to entertain. And then this room right here, this opening wasn't here before. We put this opening in and put the beams up here to accommodate it so, so we could come through here. And this is going to be a game room. It's going to have either a pool table or something like that um, and maybe a, a car table. For playing cards and there'll be another tv on the wall over here and then in this area over here we put a bathroom in right here a bathroom all the plumbing was roughed in for a bathroom here the tub's going there toilet right there we got to move things a little bit but that's typical and then this is going to be home theater right here so this will be home theater that space that's open underneath there this space right here is going to be for Two built-in cabinets that'll have that'll take all the components and stuff for the big screen TV that'll go on here. Um, I do want to show you a couple of issues that we've having to deal with, plumbing-wise. Um, by the way, this whole area is going to be storage right here. There used to be a door opening right here, and we closed it off so that we could do storage right here. But this, um, if you look up here, see how weird this plumbing is. So whoever plumbed this really did it weird. First off. They didn't push this over into so that it would be into the wall when we build it. So we've got to move that over. But look how it comes out like this and comes over and then comes way over here and goes up. This is a vent. And we've I've been here with my plumber. We're going to get rid of all of this because it's all unnecessary. But we also discovered that behind this is another pipe and it's got a negative slope to it. So we're gonna we gotta fix that when we get my plumber in here. We are gonna move this into the wall and put a vent pipe a uh, uh, auto vent in it um, because it is venting this bathroom but anyways it's all kind of a mess and so we're going to fix it all up clean it up and get it all taken care of so you can see some really weird plumbing going on here that we're gonna we're gonna address and fix so anyways excited to bring, show you in the next segment will probably be all the plumbing electrical will be done maybe even sheetrock and let you see how we finish this man cave. Okay, so we made some progress down here. The Rosh insulated and sheetrocked and all the plumbing, electrical, and heating the rough is all done. So this is the big family room and there's gonna be a big bar right here, which we talked about earlier, and cabinets along there. So we had to do a concrete trench from the wall over so we could get, because the bar is gonna have a sink in it and a microwave and um, so we had to bring power over. So um, this is the power, that's the water, and that's the drain. So we had to bring that over. So um, then we got to fill this back in with concrete, and that's going to be the next step. The drywall guy's almost done. He's just in your sanding. In fact, it might seem a little bit dusty here because he's been sanding in here all morning. So this, this uh, new entrance or opening that we added turned out really nice. The city made me get engineering on it, so I had to get an engineer to prove what I already knew was right. Uh, uh, this, this area right here is kind of a game area. And you remember how weird the plumbing was along here? So we, we cut out here and we were able to rearrange the plumbing so we didn't have that big ugly pipe hanging out of the wall over there. That's, this is what we call an auto vent. And because we can't vent it all the way up through the house to the roof, this is an auto vent, so it's kind of like a clapper valve. And when there's suction in the pipe, it opens. And then when it's, it's gone, then it closes and keeps the sewer gases from coming into the basement. This is um, the bathroom right here. You know, the tub shower and toilet, we had to move the toilet over. And so we had to cut concrete out there. And then it's gonna have a little three, three foot vanity. And then we had a couple of storage closets. And then this is going to be the home theater. So we pre-wire the speakers. So we have a wire there, 
wire over there, that's a smoke detector. And then we have your front, left, and right speakers right here. This is a center channel speaker, and then a subwoofer over there. This is going to be cabinets, and all that wiring and stuff will go into the cabinets and plug in all their components and stuff. So, making good progress here. This is actually, we're only about a month and a half into this project, and we're ready to start doing finish. So, we'll show you on the next segment. Okay, we are in the man cave, and uh, just want to give you an update on where we're at. We have cabinets installed, and this is the this room I'm standing in is the bar TV area. So we're going to be a big TV goes across right here, and you're probably wondering what are those colors. <laughs> um, our customer is a huge Michigan University fan and the Wolverines, and so their colors are blue and yellow. So his cabinets are blue and yellow. We have a yellow background, our backs on these cabinets. And then if you look over here, this is the bar area. And you can see these cabinets have yellow backs on them. And then we have some yellow floating shelves. This is gonna be the bar area. This is a raised bar. So you know, bar stools on that side. And these countertops are gonna be uh, quartz or granite. But this countertop I am making, and it's going to be, have you ever seen one of those river tables? Um, this one's going to be a walnut and blue epoxy river table. And if it all works out, it's going to be lighted too. The epoxy will glow. And so that's what we're planning on doing here. The sink right here and microwave right here, dishwasher right here. So it's going to be pretty awesome and uh, really great man cave. We've got a big drawer over here that'll take some big garbage cans uh, for recycling, beer cans and stuff like that. <laughs> and then there's a picture of the floor down here, uh, what the, or picture, a part of the floor that's not covered. And then right here is where the fridge is going. And because we have this soffit right here for venting, my cabinet guy made kind of a cool <laughs> little cabinet, kind of, kind of utilizes space. The fridge is down here already. That's the fridge right there. And let me show you the bathroom real quick. Okay, so this is the bathroom. We just grouted it so we can't go walk into it, but this is the tile for the floor. And then we did subway tile for the walls. And then more signature glass shelves for the tub shower surround. So um, getting close. We're actually getting pretty close on this. We're almost ready for the painter to get in here. Actually, we are ready for the painter. So after the, after the painting, um then we're just wrapping up we got to put all the plumbing fixtures in install the appliances and do the finished electrical oh there you are hey you got to check out this man cave it is all done should we show you come check it out i need to warn you this customer is a michigan fan and so we have lots of michigan colors down here here's the uh entertainment center and it turned out amazing have these little floating shelves we had to make them pretty small in order to get that big tv in there um, but this looks awesome love the blue color blue and the yellow those are the colors of michigan and then um let me show you the bar the bar is awesome this is the bar area right here so you see you can imagine the bar stools up here and again we have the same thing the blue and the yellow and um, we have um, in here we have a full-size fridge and then we have a drawer microwave these are so cool let's see so to open the door i guess i should have looked at this first but um, check that out that's the microwave and then you can either push it to close it or you can open, push this to close it and then the controls are on an angle so you can kind of see it without having to kind of get down on an angle. Then we put a dishwasher. And then you can see under here, we put these wine glass racks in here. So we have these all over. And then this is seated glass. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's got little bubbles and streaks and stuff in it. So it's a seated glass. So it looks really cool. And um, so, oh, you know, normally when, when my customers choose the backsplash, they usually use the 12 by 12 sections of tile that you can put up he chose these big these are 12 by 24 pieces and he chose them because of the blue to go with the theme of everything and i think it turned out amazing 
Now I want to take you over here and show you this bar top. This is a walnut epoxy river table bar top, and I made it. And uh, when we were talking about all the different things we were doing here, I told him, I says, man, we should probably do something like this. And so I explained it to him and showed him some pictures of some other smaller coffee tables that I've made. So this is the biggest river table I've made so far, but this is a nice epoxy in here. It's a Lumilite is a brand of epoxy that I use. And then this is a, a walnut wood and you mix it together, it turns out really nice. And one of the other things that I did is I added some lighting to it. So now you have the bar light to it. And um, so it's just some LED tape lights that are underneath the bar here. But what's cool is if you have all the lights off in here, this is a real nice soft light. It puts a blue glow in the whole room. It's pretty awesome. So, so the finish on the top is a polyurethane finish. Um, I tried to do a mirror coat finish, um, but man, it just, I was not happy with it. It's supposed to be a self-leveling product and it didn't self-level real well. So it had a little waviness to it. And so I had to sand it all down. <laughs> And then I put uh, about eight coats of polyurethane on here, so it looks really nice. And then I made a little wal uh, walnut bowl for him for his peanuts. I have his peanuts on the bar. So let's show you the rest of the basement. Um, this room's going to be kind of the game room. We'll probably have a poker table in here, um, maybe a pool table. I'm not sure, but his plan is he's going to have. He's got three TVs down here. He's got this one and this one, and there's one in the theater. And he can have a different game going on each one. And so um, this will be a lot of fun. This, let's show you the bathroom here. Bathroom turned out fun. A little vanity, just a basic bathroom. It's got a nice tub shower in here. So if anybody wants to stay down here, they can do that. And then over here, this is, this is where the furnace is. And then we put these two closets in because we have the space. So this closet is full of shelves. And then this one is for some hanging. I kind of thought that maybe um, somebody might want to use this as a bedroom at some point. So we put a little closet in here. And But this is the home theater room. So we've got the TV here. And then we have a shelving that was built in for all of the components and stuff. There used to be a chase here to put a fireplace at one point. So that's why that can be recessed like that. But uh, turned out really nice. Got subwoofer, got all the speakers built in and everything. It's pretty awesome. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and see how we transform this basement into the man cave that it is. It is so awesome. I want one just for myself. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you watch all the way to the end because we'll We'll show you what the stats are, how long it took, how much the original price was, what the final price was, and stuff like that. So to help you know what something like this costs to do. Thanks for watching. We hope will you please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and also hit the little bell button. That'll tell that way we can notify you every time we post a new video. Thanks again.